What can you tell us about your character in Alcatraz? I can tell you that he's an assistant warden, and I can tell you that he maybe is not a nice guy. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, and uh, his name is Elijah Bailey Tiller, E.B. Tiller, and um, I think he has an axe to grind. Were you excited to be working on J.J. Uh, Abrams' project like this? I was in the <clears throat> first episode of, uh, I was in the pilot for Fringe, where I played a set of twins, and that, I had a really good time in Toronto, and really, really good time. It's an incredible company, and uh, they're always so creative and imaginative about where you're going to go. And uh, I love our head writer, Liz Sarnoff. I just, I think she's amazing, and I, the, some of the stuff already that I'm hearing where we're going to go has made me really excited to go up to Vancouver and start work. Fantastic. And do you feel that there's a weight of expectation on the series because it's from the makers of, of Lost and Fringe? And I, think that, I, I think that, yes, you know, I think that people have come to expect a lot from them and uh, they want to deliver, of course, and they know they have to because, as this case at Comic-Con will tell you, fan, true fans are watching such incredible, you know, infinitesimal details that may or may not have been thought of. And they, it's interesting to see what people respond to and how that makes them more excited to go right for it. So yes, I think that there'll be some comparisons and there are big shoes to fill, but I also think that we have the right group of people to do it. And you actually know a little bit as an actor, who knows, who knows how people will respond to something, but I'm so excited by this company of actors and we have a really good time together and I think it's a really interesting, eclectic group too. Will the mysteries of Alcatraz be resolved quickly or is this going to be one for the really sort of determined viewer? I think... It's going to be both, actually. I, I, this is me just talking out of the side of my mouth. But I think that there'll be things that will be solved every episode, for sure. And then I think that there'll be certain things that over the trajectory of the series will begin to realize what and what's involved and how. Obviously, the time travel element. It's, you know, it's introduced in the pilot that, Sam, uh, that I, my character was a friend of Sam's character. And so part of what happens in the pilot, um, he's solving that crime for whatever reason in terms of, you know, figuring out what happened to his friend. Um, but I look forward to the day when I get to act with Sam Neill, even though right now we're about 50 years, 40 years apart. <laughs> but I mean, in the, you know, in terms of the scene, the time that we're both acting, but I look forward to the moment when we get to time travel and act together, I hope.